hey what's going on guys welcome back and uh, today we'll be seeing how to create this toggle to switch between show to hide passwords using plain javascript we won't be using any libraries or frameworks to make this but if you'll watch the video carefully i'm sure you can definitely make this using jquery as well but i'd like to stick with vanilla javascript so that i can help you build the logic of the code so let's check out the demo now so if I enter anything in the password field, uh, you won't be able to see it. But if I click on this icon here and that's it, you can see the password in the text format. And uh, if I'll click on it again, it is going to toggle back to the password type. So you can do this n number of times and it is going to work perfectly fine. So without further ado, let's get to the code. So we have a basic HTML structure ready and I have added the link to the font awesome CDN because we will be using font awesome icons instead of using a checkbox for that toggle purpose because I have seen other tutorials on YouTube and they usually tend to keep checkbox but I wanted to keep it little different and uh, it looks good with an icon instead of having a checkbox so we will be using an icon so you can find this link in the description or you can just search on google for font awesome cd and you will get this link and also we have linked it to a style.css so now let's start with the body so first i'll create a div with a class container and uh, within this div i'll create an input tag with the type of password i'll give it an id of pwd and we'll give it a placeholder password so above this we'll add that icon so to do that i'll use an i tag which will have a class of fa fa-i so this will bring the icon on the screen now if you don't understand what this class is you can just head over to fontawesome.io slash icons and if you'll click on any icon you want you will get this tag available there which after adding you will get that particular icon on the screen I already know the name of the class so I am directly using it but uh, you can definitely go and check on the page and there are tons of icons which you can use. So after doing that if you refresh you will see the icon is present along with the text field. So now let's just style it. We won't be doing much I'll just try to keep the style as minimum as possible but you can customize it anyhow you like. So first I'll set margin and padding to 0 for all the elements so asterisk margin to 0 and padding to 0 next for the container we'll bring it to the center of a screen by top to 50% left to 50% position to absolute and transform translate minus 50% minus 50% and this will bring it to the center of a screen so after this for the input field I'll give a margin of 10 pixels width of 400 pixels border to none and outline to none uh, so after this you won't see any border or outline to it and after that i'll just give a border bottom of 2 pixels solid with a light gray color which will be having a color code of hash ccc and uh, i'll give font size to 30 pixels so let's see how it looks Mm, okay, I'll just change it to 28. Okay, perfect. So next, on the focus event, I'll just change the border bottom to a dodger blue color. Just for the effect, uh, you don't need to do this if you don't like it. Next for the icons, first I'll set the position to absolute, left to 380 pixels. So I'll get this icon exactly where I want it to place, top to 10 pixels so that it is placed right above the line and uh, font size to 25 pixels so that the size increases and uh, cursor to pointer and color to hash 999. So at the initial time, it is going to look like it is disabled. 
but uh, when it is clicked which i'll do in the javascript so there i'll be adding a class of active so for dot fa dot active i'll just change the color to dodger blue now this active class is coming from the javascript so let's start with the javascript now so we can see actually how the class is going to add and get removed so in the html file between the script tags first i'll create a variable pwd which is going to point to the password field so i'll do document dot get element by id and as we have given the id pwd in the html so we just grab that and uh, next variable will be grabbing the icon so again where i equals document dot get element by id i now i have to add that id to the icon so i'll just add id as an i to the i class it's eye id to the i class okay so now we have to add a event listener which is going to listen to a click event on that icon so we'll do i dot add event listener and uh, the event will be click and the second parameter which is going to be a function so i'll just do toggle pass so now we have to create this function toggle pass so let's create that so now for that icon to toggle between the active class we will use this i dot class list so because of this class list we can use a function called toggle and we'll pass active class as a parameter so what this will actually do is whenever i click on that icon it is going to toggle between the active class so initially there is no active class but once i'll click on it it is going to listen to that event and it is going to call the function toggle pass and as soon as that function is called it is going to add an active class to it and at the second time it is going to remove that class so you will get the effect that it is turning on and turning off on the clicking event so now the icon animation is set now we just have to change the password type so either we can use an if else block but instead of that i'll just use a ternary operator which does the same thing so first in the ternary operator there is a condition so within the brackets we will set the condition that if pwd dot type equals to password so if it is true we will do pwd dot type equals text and if it's false then we will do pwd dot type equals password so anything coming after the question mark are going to be executed if the condition is true and if the condition is false anything coming after the colon will be executed so this is a ternary operator so we can just do it in simple one line instead of having a if else block so let's type something here now if i click on the icon we can see that the password is now in the text form and also we can see the color of icon has been changed so if i click back it is going to change it back to type password and the color of the icon will also toggle so this is what we were trying to achieve and we have achieved it using vanilla javascript so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i hope it will help you in any of your future projects where you will be having forms and you want to keep this effect of hiding and showing passwords on the password fields so comment about it if you are going to use this or even give it a try by coding it yourself and uh, like if you enjoyed this video and click down here to subscribe you can check out my previous video which is available right next to it and check out the random videos at the side here so i hope i'll see you next time and bye bye